right, so here is the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. It wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov, had won nine of 10, and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the grind here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head, in the body, in everything he does, it is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of 10 fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the more prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. championship fight and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight and he's enjoying every moment of it huge title defense beckons for him tonight john he loves where he stands in the sport he loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet he knows he's the biggest he's the strongest he's the baddest and he loves it and he prepares as if he never wants to let that go this man lives for being the best this man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. All right, both fighters have entered the octagon, and this massive, massive fight is nearly upon us, ready to go from Anaheim at the Honda Center with one of the biggest fights of the year. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Kevin the Monster Landoman. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so here's the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, as we get ready to go with round one. Nobody has more knockouts in the UFC since 2014. The majority of those for the Black Beast have come in round one. We'll see how the brawler gets off tonight. So there it is, they immediately go into the clinch situation. The wrestler said he wanted to make it dirty against this boxer, and this is a good spot for him to be in. I think that even though he wanted to be in the clinch, he's got to be very aware of the punches in tight coming back from the boxer. He's got to be level changing, he's got to be tripping. He's got to make this boxer feel like he's on the defensive. Or that guy's going to get comfortable rolling his shoulders and landing some nice tight punches from the clutch. There by Lewis. Oh man, both of these guys didn't really take a shot. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, nice count. Yes. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, long triangle attempt now. 
Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, and submission defense wins this transition. The Black Beast gets back up. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. That's the separation from his press position. Just over three minutes to go now. Takedown defense holds up. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the four side hook. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Nice punch there. Strike from the bottom fighter there. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back in. And now he's got the back. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. That's submission. The Black Beast gets back up. Nice power up there. He's got that single collar tie. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by the Black Beast. Just out of range with the big right hand. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Well, he's got his back now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Lewis gets caught by the straight punch. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single goal. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. On oh, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympians got to the seats. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing... Tony Ferguson just masked in blood. This is not looking good. Yeah, it was it was like all Ferguson fighters, right? He was just destroying That's exactly what he looks like right now. He looks like he has been on the receiving end of all the elbows thrown by Tony Ferguson. His cut is really bad. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent. Oh, now he's attacking on trying. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. He's getting very close to finishing this fight. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, like, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on. Oh, he's got his back. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by the Black Beast. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. Lewis has got his back yet again. Herb Dean steps in! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! That was awesome, dude. Just a relentless effort out of the Spider here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Well, Derek Lewis just might be the UFC heavyweight champion of the world before this run is said and done. Congratulations to the Black Beast on yet another UFC triumph here tonight. Really starting to put all of his skills together. That is a scary proposition for his fellow heavyweight contenders tonight. It is all about the Black Beast.